Okay, so today we are going to be making the Minty Boost from Out of Fruit Industries. So, open up this anti stack bag and stump everything out. Okay, so what we're going to start by doing is taking out one of the capacitors and not the electrolytic. We're going to actually use the ceramic disc capacitors. This one, and this one's pretty tiny. What we're going to do is we're going to stick it right in the middle of where the IC will go, right there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bend the leads if this is possible, which it is, we are going to bend the leads outwards so that when we flip it over to solder it, it does not fall out. So, just like so. Alright, so we flip it over, and we have it, and it has not fallen out. So, let me grab some solder here, and the iron is already heated up, and we're just going to solder this really quickly. is we're going to take the tip of the soldering iron and make sure it touches the joint as well as the lead. And then we're going to heat it up for two seconds, and then we're going to push the solder in a little. And let it heat up, keep it there for about a second. Remove the solder, and you're done. And we're going to do the same thing for the other one. Now what you're going to want to have is like this little dome shaped thing um, coming out. So I'm not sure if you can see that all that well. Probably looks horrible. But it's really kind of like a dome here. And then what we're going to do is take our little snips. And we're going to snip these leads as close to the bulb as possible and you might want to wear eye protection when you snip these because the leads go flying everywhere I'm not even joking all right then we're gonna flip it over again and so this is the IC socket and it has eight pins and what it does is it protects the chip as well as allows for easy removal in case you need to uh, take it out the chip so it has 8 pins like I said, and you're going to want to bend over 2 of the leads on opposite sides like so, so that uh, it stays in place when you turn it over. And then you just solder it up. So, I'm not sure if you can see that here, but if you look in the side, there will be little little bulbs of solder that come through. And if those are there, then you did a good job. So, now what we are going to do is we're going to install our two capacitors. And, of course, you don't have to do these one at a time like I'm doing this. I'm just doing it to show you. You can actually do, like, put all of your pieces in and then do them. So, we have two 220 microfarad capacitors and these are actually polarized unlike these are polarized unlike the uh, resistors or ceramic capacitors or inductors and what this means is uh, electric electricity can only flow through one way so there's a positive and negative side and so when you see these the positive side 
will be the one with the longer lead, and the negative side will be the one with the shorter lead. And also you can see this, the negative side usually has a stripe here. So on the board itself, there's a little sign that says positive right there. And so we'll put the longer lead through there. And we're just going to push that down. And we are back, right where we left off. So, we again take our diagonal tin snips. Now, what we are going to do is take our inductor. An inductor is unpolarized, unlike the electrolytic capacitor. It's pretty much just a coil of wire um, and I'm not exactly sure what it does. I think it controls the energy as well. It might reduce it a little. So we're just gonna solder that in as well. Now we're gonna put in our two resistors. Uh, so they're non-polarized, just like the inductor and ceramic capacitor. Therefore they can go in either way. So bend the leads and stick it through the board and then bend the leads outward again so that they don't fall out. Now we're using the 10k ohm resistors for this time because I have a newer iPod but if you have an older one you might want to use um, the other ones that come in the kit because they come with four. And we're only going to use the two, the uh, brown, black, yellow. So that's for this time. So this next component is a diode and it's very important in this whole project because it makes sure that the electricity is going from the minty boost to the USB, not the USB to the minty boost. That's what we want. So the diode is polarized, so the white um, stripe on the board has to match up with a little white stripe on the diode. Otherwise, if you put it in backwards, uh, you're going to fry your circuit and drain your iPod's battery, possibly frying it and killing it. So that's not what we want. So the next thing we're going to put in is our USB. And you just put two globs on the side that's for mechanical connection and solder up the four remaining pins. Those are the actual pins that you use. And then we are going to put in our negative wire, the black one from the battery pack. And then we are going to put in the red wire from our battery pack, and that's the positive. Make sure you put them in correctly. If you put them in incorrectly, you're gonna fry your IC chip socket. And you see here, we have a little notch. And this all this helps us know how we're gonna place this in our socket. And sometimes instead of a notch, there'll be a little black dot, which there is here, but it's covered by the white stripe. Or you might have both of them. There's gonna be a little black dot here and a little notch. So just whichever side the notch is in, you're gonna put it in. So we have our board. Uh, the notch is gonna face the flat side, the bottom side of the board. On others, it'll be different. So we're just going to stick it in there, and it should should fit nicely, and we're just going to push it down. Now, you want to make sure that all of your leads are in so that none of them bend out, and then it looks like that. And you are all done. You have made your minty boost.